Boom shakalaka. What is going on, everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love. I am joined today by Alex Mashinsky, the CEO of Celsius Network. What's going on, Alex? Going great. Thanks for having me again. Yeah, it's, it's an absolute... a few months. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure. You're always a fun time. I think every time you're on here, you blow my mind. So I'm looking forward <laughs> to for some new stuff today. Now, for those of you who don't know Alex, uh, he's done a lot in terms, I mean, basically all of you use something that he created and you probably don't even know about it. But he, he uh, created voice over IP and now he's working to create money over IP with Celsius Network. So he's done a lot there, been named Entrepreneur of the Year, uh, responsible for putting Wi-Fi in the subways of New York City. So he's a guy who's constantly building and creating and now he's working with Celsius. So Alex, how is it you're able to do all that stuff? I don't have an off switch, you know, I don't, I, I, I love working. I know some people can't wait for Friday. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for Monday, you know, so uh, <laughs> that's why we pay interest on Monday. So I made Mondays uh, much better for, you know, like a hundred thousand people that use Celsius because now you can basically get paid interest. You get Bitcoin every Monday morning. Uh, what could be better than that? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So I guess, uh, I mean, some people that watch my channel use Celsius. Um, you guys have a partnership with Monarch Wallet, and I talk about Monarch Wallet all the time. But for people who may not know about Celsius, give us an overview of what it is, who it can benefit, and how it can benefit them. Sure. So, look, Celsius is a, is a service that acts in your best interest. Now, no, I know a lot of people say that, but uh, what we do is we basically are represent the community. Our community is hodlers who have crypto, we go out there, we issue loans, we do all kind of uh, uh, financial services, we get paid interest, and we give 80% of that interest to our depositors. So it's kind of like the opposite of what the banks do, uh, does, right? When you give your money to the bank, the bank issues loans and does car loans and credit cards and all that stuff. They collect a lot of profit, but they give 80% of that to the shareholder, not to the depositor. Right? We as depositors get nothing. Mm -hmm. So I decided to create an organization that acts in the best interest of the depositors and pays 80% back to the depositors. Right? So that's, uh, we've been doing that now for two years. We invented this category. No one has done that before Celsius. No one paid interest on crypto before Celsius. Now uh, Binance and Coinbase and all these guys, because we collected over $300 million from, all, from them, and now, now they all say, oh, you know, you know, don't leave us. Don't go to Alex. We'll pay you one and a half percent. Well, Celsius pays nine percent. So you want to earn one and a half or nine? Mm -hmm. Keep coming and we will force Coinbase to pay nine percent just like we did. Yeah. I mean, it's quite it's remarkable how much people can earn because anywhere, depending upon which cryptocurrency, there's different interest rates. But anywhere from uh, three to four percent all the way up to over 10 percent for some of the stable coins is absolutely incredible yes and and uh, we don't look we have 25 different coins and tokens so we don't sell you the coins you, you have to have them you have to you buy them on binance or coinbase or somewhere else and then instead of keeping them on exchanges and letting exchanges like you know binance made 700 million dollars worth of profit last year they made it from your pocket right so People, are, they don't understand that. They think that when they keep their coins and exchanges, you can't make any money of that. That's how the brokers make money, right? So uh, by moving the coins to Celsius, you can now earn interest. And some of them pay a lot, like stable coins, but the stable coins are pegged to the US dollar. So if you're looking for diversification, you don't want to be, you don't have all your assets being dollars, then you need some Bitcoin or Ethereum because if the dollar drops, the stable coins are going to drop as well. So we, we recommend a, a mix of all these different co uh, coins and we pay, we pay basically 80% of what we make. So right now stable coins earn a lot because people pay us 11, 12% to borrow them. And that's how we pay nine, 10, 11% for the depositors. Gotcha. So I've actually been looking forward to having you on because there's been one question that I get so often when I tell people about how you can earn 10% or more interest with Celsius. I mean, a lot of these are young kids who their first experience with interest was BitConnect. So they're like, <laughs> temper, they're like, how 10% interest, that sounds like a scam. But I mean, I know it's not a scam, but how is it that you guys can pay such high interest on the, like the stable coins? 
Well, first, BitConnect was, I think, 1% a day or 30% per month. Yeah. And we're talking about less than 1% a month uh, or 0.0003% per day, right? So it's an order of magnitude less than BitConnect, right? So anyone who compares us to BitConnect just needs to go back to his, their high school teacher and, yeah, right? and get a few more lessons in math. But, but it's a valid question. Look, if we can't explain how we earn it, then uh, no one should trust us with any deposits. So we basically issue loans to multiple entities. We issue loans to uh, Celsius depositors. So let's say you gave me uh, two Bitcoins and let's say it's worth $20,000, the two Bitcoins. You can come and say, I need a loan. I don't want to sell my Bitcoin. I don't want to pay interest. I, sorry, I don't want to pay taxes. Can I take a margin borrow, a loan against my Bitcoin so I can pay my credit card, so I can live, so I can go on, on the trip instead of selling my Bitcoin? So we will issue to you a loan. Where do we get the money to issue the loan? Because you gave us Bitcoin. We need to give you dollars. We get dollars from other depositors. Now, we also earn money on your Bitcoin. So we subsidize the loan. Effectively, we have the lowest rates in the industry. And we, the way we do that, the reason we have such low rates is because we don't just make money from charging interest on the dollars. We also make money from lending your Bitcoin. So how do we lend Bitcoin? We lend to institutions like uh, Galaxy Digital, like uh, Wall Street firms that trade in these securities. They give us collateral and they pay us 4 or 5% on the Bitcoin as well. So if I lend you at 9%, plus 4% on the other side, I'm making, let's say, 13%. Do 80% of that, you will see it's exactly what we pay the community on the stable coins. Because the question people say is, wait a second, you only charge nine, how can you pay 10 or 11? How can you pay more than what you, well, they have to remember that we have collateral, we have 2x collateral that we land out, mm. and that's another source of income. Okay, yeah, that's the missing piece that I haven't been able to explain, so cool. <laughs> Simple um, math. Full disclosure, we have it on our website. We explain this everywhere. We actually show you in detail. If you download our app and you go to the community page, you can see in detail how much we have of Bitcoin, how much we have of collateral, how many loans have we issued, how much interest did we collect, did we pay 80%. And now there's actually a third-party website called Celsians.com that audits us. They go and they do all the fancy math on all the wallets, and they make sure that what we say in our uh, wallet is correct because they watch the blockchain and you can't cheat on a blockchain. Mm -hmm. So we have like a watchdog uh, that's constantly watching us to make sure that we don't uh, publish uh, BitConnect numbers. That's awesome. Very cool. So you mentioned Galaxy Digital there and a lot of people may not know or maybe they do know the name Galaxy Digital, but if they've been around in Bitcoin for long enough, they remember back in November 2017 and Novogratz buying. A lot of people know Mike Novogratz. He's very well known. He's um, kind of in charge of Galaxy Digital. Well, um, Celsius has just surpassed them in terms of total assets held and not just by a little bit. You guys like just crush them. So now you're the leader in terms of global or uh, total assets held. We, we are still not number one. I think, uh, I think Grayscale is still has more assets than us, but we went from being number 10 or maybe number 15 to being number two now. So, uh, and look, I, I love Mike. I think Mike Novogratz is one of the uh, best Wall Street guys who kind of said F you to Wall Street and came uh, from the dark side to, you know, to, from the evil empire, he became a Jedi, you know, like, so I, I think, we need more mics. It's not like, uh, oh, look at Mike, you know, whatever. He's not doing well. He's doing very well. But uh, Celsius is growing much faster because we give so much back to the community, right? We give, every, we paid more Bitcoin to more uh, people than all the other guys put together. If you take Binance and Coinbase and BlockFi and Nexo and Salt and, and uh, Crypto.com, you put all those people together, including all the DeFi guys, right? There was an article on CoinDesk about the DeFi guys. They were twice as big as all the DeFi guys put together. You put all those people together, Celsius paid more Bitcoin to more people than all the other guys put together, right? That's how much bigger Celsius is with 350 or 370 million worth of uh, deposits. 
compared to the other guys, right? So, so that is the, the main issue. Are you, like when Coinbase makes money or Binance makes money, they don't give it to their depositors. They keep it to themselves, right? Just like banks do, right? So, so the question is, are you uh, just another toll collector or are you here in this decentralized movement trying to create scale in, on the blockchain because you are uh, trying to really revolutionize the world and make, it, make the world a better place? You know, and that's really the thing that I think uh, people are having an issue with because they don't, uh, they forget why they came here or they came here for the wrong reason. You know, I mean, you've been in this, in this industry for a very long time. You know, I've watched you uh, over the years and it's all hard, right? It's all about helping people, educating them and so on. And the other guys are all about uh, just being another toll collector. They just painted themselves in green instead of in blue but it's still a toll and you're still paying it and they give it all to themselves. So that's what we're here to disrupt. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. And I mean, very much like that. That's one of the reasons that I like you so much and like your project, because pretty much everything that you do, it's about the benefit of the people. Like, uh, you know, voice over IP, everybody use it. It's improved everybody's life so much. Celsius improved so many people, so many people's life so much. All of that stuff, just like it's about the improvements and giving back 80%. It, it's a proof. No, you're, you're 100% right. It's a proof that you can do good and then do well. Because mo most of the time people think, no, I, I have to steal from somebody. Or if I do well, somebody else has to do badly. No, there are so many opportunities to do good first and then do well. And, 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 and the crypto community, the decentralized movement is all about that, right? So, and each one of the viewers, that you have has to decide, do I give my coins to somebody who's sucking value out of the community or do I give my coins to someone who redistributes all of that value back into the community? We, most of our users are hodlers, right? So mm -hmm. we love giving them more Bitcoin because they're the guys who got us through the winter. Who got us through the nuclear winter? The speculators who ran away mm -hmm. or the guys who hodled and accumulated more and more Bitcoin and the price bottomed and then it started going up. Mm -hmm. So these are the guys we need to reward, not the guys or the toll collectors. Yeah. I was just, uh, you know, messing around on your website and I saw one of the testimonials by someone who said, I just bought three adult size BMX bikes with the cell tokens that I got. And <laughs> he was like, I, I would have loved them as a kid or I always wanted them as a kid. And that made me think like, yeah, you're actually doing, I mean, people are hodling their crypto anyways. They're hodling Bitcoin and other crypto. And instead of just sitting there not earning anything, they're actually earning stuff that they can either compound it or they could use it for good purposes. I have a guy in Arizona who's paying his mortgage, his entire mortgage just from the Celsius interest. That's okay. Awesome. And, and he was like, look, if I put this money in the bank, I, I would barely have money for ice cream. Like that would give me nothing, you know, like, so, so it changes people's lives. And like, and like you said before, that the young people don't know, they never lived, like millennials and Gen Xs never lived through a time where they could earn real interest. They don't even know that that's possible. And the mm -hmm. banks love that. The banks love it because they love to get your money for free. All of mm -hmm. us depositing money for free with the banks, we get safety, but we get zero back, right? And, and the bank immediately lends it to our neighbor on their credit card, charges them 24% and gives us nothing. Like if they make 24%, shouldn't we make at least half of it or right. two thirds of that? So we land at 9% and we pay 7% back or we land at 12% and we pay 9% back and so on. So we just decided that instead of giving all that wealth to the shareholders, we're going to give all that wealth to the depositors. I mean, it's not a genius idea. People say to me, oh, Alex, how'd you come up with this genius? I'm like, it's so simple. It's not genius at all. That's what it should be in the first place. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah so. yeah. so you mentioned, okay, so you mentioned people putting money in the banks. And this is something that I think a lot of, one concern that a lot of people have, because people put money in the banks because they, they feel that banks are secure, the FDIC um, secu secures the money or guarantees the money. Uh, in cryptocurrency, there's a, there's a phrase, uh, your keys, your money. So a lot of people are hesitant about giving their cryptocurrency to a third party, particularly a centralized third party. So, I mean, how, how is it that people's money is safe? And, uh, you know, how can they, sure, how can they sure. trust? Sure, let's talk about that. So first, one of the main reasons, in my view, right, one of the main reasons why 
the crypto community is not 10 times bigger is that we ran out of people who are comfortable with private keys, public keys and all that stuff, right? We, we found all the geeks and all the programmers and all the hackers and all the gamers who, who knows how to deal with this stuff. And it's 90% men. The crypto community is 90% men. So mm -hmm. you want a global revolution and you want to bring in billions of people and they're all going to have to be tech savvy. It's just not going to happen. And then every day you hear about really savvy people who lost their keys or who got hacked or who got uh, whatever, you know, like uh, the stuff got taken away from them without their will, right? So, so the system, the way it's built today is not built for scale. It's not built for mass adoption. And it w look, I've seen this movie before with Voice of IP. In the beginning of Voice of IP, if I wanted to call you, this is a VoIP call right now that we have it, right? Mm -hmm. I clicked on your image and we're talking. Back in the day, I had to put a TCP IP address. I would have had to create a socket connection with you. I would have to check how many hops. Then I would have to reinitiate. And then maybe we would have a stable connection and, 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 and there, could, there could be somebody completely different on the other side. You would never know who, should, who would show up, right? <laughs> so that's what we are today with crypto, right? We send, a, we send a, a fraction of a Bitcoin. We call the other guy. Hey, did you get it? Hey, crypto love, did you get my Bitcoin? You know, like, okay, let me send you the rest. Did you get it? Did you get it? Or did you get lost? You know, like, mm -hmm. I, I have to do four transactions to do one transaction. So mm -hmm. we have to hide all of that. And we've got to create an experience like the VoIP experience, right? So I think, uh, you know, that's one side of it. The second side of it is that, yes, we are, ha we have one leg in the centralized world. We use AWS because it's the safest place to operate on the internet. And we have one leg on a blockchain, actually on 25 different blockchains, right? Because we support 25 blockchains. And what we do is effectively hide or mask the need for people to know or interact with private keys. But at the same time, we use companies like BitGo and, and Prime Trust and others to put your stuff in the safest place possible. And, and that's what makes uh, uh, the best of both worlds, right? And we effectively are in charge or are in task with making sure that we do everything with best practices and we only transact with institutions we know and we make sure that they give us the stuff back and so on, so on. And look, in two years, we did not have a single hack. We did not have a, a, a single problem because, look, I, I was counterintelligence in the Israeli military. It's not like, you know, all my, everybody on my team is like uh, ex-military guys, right? I mean, we... Our job was to hack the, you know, the this or that facility in this or that country that I can't name, right? That's what our job was. So we we know we just work, we just turn from black hat to white hat, and 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 depositors have to decide: can I do this better myself, or should I outsource this to people who are much better than me, who've partnered with people like Bitgo, who is one of the oldest custodians in the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, for people who don't know, Bitco is covered by a hundred million dollars Lloyd's insurance. So it's per, so per wallet per, per wallet. wallet. We have like a hundred wallets with them. Okay, yeah. So it's it's pretty similar to like FDIC insurance. Yeah. Well, look, FDIC is like government insurance. This mm -hmm. is Lloyd's insurance. So it's two different things. But but uh, yes, it, it's definitely insurance for the coins that are sitting in cold storage. When we take them out, they're not insured, but we take collateral from the borrowers. And this way we have assets like, for example, Galaxy Digital, when they borrow from us, right, we ask them for collateral. And they're a public company, we can see their balance sheet, and all these things basically uh, allow, allow us to, be, uh, to make sure that we're gonna get these assets back. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. So uh, let's talk about, I think we've talked a bit about Celsius. Let's talk about what's going on with the market and kind of your take on it. Cause you definitely have a much higher perspective than I think I'm able to see from. So what do you think, what do you think is going on? Cause there was recently a, kind of like a failed backed launch and uh, just kind of slow mass adoption. We're beginning a, a bull market, but everybody's like, uh, is it really going? So what do you think? What's your take from where you're sitting at? Well, so look, we, in general, we need more utility and less volatility, right? And I think too many people are focused on the day-to-day. -day. They're like, every day they read the news and they either get more excited or they get less excited. But you really need to disconnect from the day-to-day -day 
and look at the big picture. And if you look at the big picture, you look at the last 11 years, you're going to see four cycles, right? And during each cycle, we lost 70, 80, 90% of the value. And those cycles where, where if you think, if you compare it to like a, a four men relay race where, you know, the, the four runners are handing off the baton to each other, during the handoff of the baton, we lose 80 or 90% of the value. Why? Because if you think of each runner as a group, as a community, right? The first community was the anarchist community. Then it was the libertarian community. Each community is bigger and bigger and bigger. But when we ran out of people, we, when we ran out of anarchists and we had to hand off the baton to libertarian, we all slowed down as a community. When the, when the libertarians ran out of people, they couldn't recruit any more libertarians and they handed off the baton to the speculators, they slow down as well. When you slow down, prices come down. And now the, the, the fourth man, right, was supposed to be the institution. So now, again, the anarchists, the libertarian, and the speculators, all of them were hoping that they're going to hand off the baton to the institutions at $20,000 per Bitcoin. And the institutions look at it and said, I'm not, we're not stupid. We're not going to buy at the retail prices. We're going to wait until the prices drop. And the prices dropped and dropped and dropped. We got to 3500 right? And institutions started buying in. We, Celsius, work with 180 institutions, right? So we know they're there, but they're not there in mass. So that's why Bact, for example, and other launches uh, have not been successful. And my point in the story is that the four men who's going to finish the race, unfortunately, is not going to be the institutions. You cannot rely on them because it's against their own interest. They're printing money on Wall Street. The last thing they want to do is enable this new animal called cryptocurrencies with its king, Bitcoin. And it's like a runaway train. They cannot control that train, right? So they want to squash it. In the meantime, they'll make some money at it, but they want to squash it. They don't want to scale it. The only people that can finish this race for us can take the baton from where we are, a run and get Bitcoin to 100,000 or more are more retail users, more users who come for the utility. They come for store value. They come for long-term appreciation. They come for the fact that the dollar is a very risky asset, right? And these are the things that we have to deliver. And if we deliver the ease of use, if we deliver the safety, if we solve all the problems that have to do with keys and security and so on, all the things we talked about here, then we can bring the next 100 million people in. You bring 100 million people, I guarantee you that the Bitcoin is going to be above $100,000 per Bitcoin. So watch the wallets, watch the average deposit per wallet. Again, all of that is public information, right? That's not a secret. Everybody knows how much you have in, it, in every wallet. And if you see growth, if you see that hockey stick, Bitcoin price will fall. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that's what everybody's looking forward to. So how, I mean, how with Celsius can, can we help that? progress so celsius again is a membership organization that is focused on acting in the best interest of the community we we have a product that every person on the planet needs earning interest on their money right there isn't a single person on this planet that i walk to over walk over to them and say hey do you want to earn more interest says no i'm so rich i don't need any more interest i don't need anything <laughs> I'm making so much money from my banks that I don't need any help from you, Alex. So we basically created a product that hides the fact that it's a blockchain-based product. It hides the fact that it's running on a decentralized platform, that it needs consensus. We're hiding all of that. And what we're offering people is the ability to just take their dollars or euros or yen or Canadian dollar or anything else, buy a stable coin and earn 9, 10, or 11%. Right? And that is a product that sells itself. And if they want some doomsday insurance, they can buy some Bitcoin too. Again, not from us, but they can deposit Bitcoin and earn four, five, six percent interest as well. Mm -hmm. so, so these are the things, again, more utility, less volatility. And all the people that store with us, when they store the coins with us, that creates less volatility in the financial markets because the exchanges love volatility. They know people trade when there's volatility. So they create artificial volatility just for the trading because that's how they make all their fees. Celsius doesn't make any fees from buying or selling or doing anything for you. All we do is lending, we collect interest, we give the depositor 80%. Mm -hmm. Very simple business. Yeah. And for people who can't do math, if, if you're earning 10% interest, that means every seven years your money doubles, which is pretty yes. incredible. 
and you have appreciation on your base. If you have Bitcoin and Bitcoin doubled, it doubles plus your interest. It, it does what Warren Buffett calls is the most powerful uh, force in the universe, right? Is, is, is accumulate interest. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So cool. We've talked about a lot of stuff. Anything else you want to talk about while we have you on today? Well, look, this is all about the community. So like we, we are really frustrated that about 85% of our community is men. We, we're doing everything we can to bring more women into the community. Half of Celsius is women. And we make sure that we, 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 can, we don't hire another guy if we don't have another girl to uh, balance them out. Because again, if you want a revolution, you got to bring women, in, women into the revolution. And every one of your viewers, every one of your followers, they have to decide for themselves, where do I deposit my money? And also, what am I doing to grow the community? Am I promoting this? Am I you know, supporting the projects that are good for the community versus projects that are just all collectors? Or am I here just for quick buck? If I'm here for quick buck, Celsius is not the place for you. But if you're here to really grow the community, we are looking for ambassadors all over the world, right? We, we operate in 150 countries. And in every country, we need people who are representing the brand, who are going out there, explaining to people how the stuff works and why it is in their best interest. And we only work if we have a very large community with a lot of deposits, right? Then we have power because you want to take the power away from the banks? Stop making deposits there. You'll see how quickly they turn around and start running after you. And I know that because that's what we did with the phone company. The phone companies used to be these giant monolithic companies that, you know, like were basically untouchable, right? And look, everybody stopped using them, started using VoIP, and they're running after you every day, offering you a better deal. Hey, today, get the phone for free, the service for free. You know, pay us in five years from now, $5 a month, I don't know what. I mean, it's just getting crazy, mm -hmm. right? So the reason for that is that you're, the customer has the power, not the phone company. Awesome. Let's do the same thing with crypto. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I mean, I'm frustrated with the banks after 2008 and they got away with it with just kind of, they really got away with it. So Unbelievable. Yeah. No mm -hmm. one went to jail still. No one went to jail. Unbelievable. Yeah, definitely. So uh, how can people get involved with Celsius? So come follow us on Telegram, uh, Celsius Network. Uh, check us out on Twitter. And check out the website, www.celsius.network. Download the app, either on Android or in the App Store, and just try it out. I mean, you don't have to deposit anything. You can just download the app and see what everybody else is doing, right? See the rates, uh, check things out see what other people are, uh, you know, how much is on deposit. We, we disclose all that information. And when you feel comfortable, that's fine. But, but in the meantime, you have to, again, decide, are you building a, the decentralized world or are you sticking with the centralized world? Are you going to continue working for that pyramid where 99% of the Americans are at the bottom of the pyramid? Or are we going to replace that with a circle where everybody's measured by their contribution to society instead of how much profit they can generate? for the man mm -hmm. that, sound, that sounds like an ideal place for me and listen to crypto love because he's got all the answers you know <laughs> yeah that's not, yeah the rest of it, everything else you said was true that uh, yeah, yeah but yeah i really appreciate having you on it's always a pleasure um today you blew my mind when you mentioned you were uh, israeli counterintelligence i had no idea but wow that's awesome i yes. I actually just watched a, a show on Netflix called The Spy about that. Yeah. That is that, you know, Eli was our hero. He, he, he was the master spy, you know, he was a teacher of all of us. So, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so where are you right now? I'm in our New York office, actually. You want to see the team? You want to meet the rest of the team? Yes, take a look. All right, let's go. Let's take a walk there. So, yeah, we're on 23rd Street. We're inside the... Barclays Bank Rise Incubator. So there's nothing better than getting the banks from the inside. You know, it's like the, you know, but here's yeah. our team. Uh, this is the Celsius offices. Say hi. Awesome. Hello, everyone. There we go. So this is where the and magic yeah, happens. Yeah, so any, anyone who wants a free shirt, just uh, let us know. We've got an ample supply here. Leah, yeah, oh. say hi to the, to the gang. Hello, hi. hello. Kristen. Cam, Liz, and, you know, like I said, more more women than men. That's that's right. an ideal work environment. Perfect. Take care. Yeah. Bye.